Well, hello friends, it's Amy Ferlici at the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio. And today I have a most gorgeous card for you. Honestly, I think it's all about kind of the embellishments on this card. For example, this is some of the Parisian Blossoms designer series paper. We're using the beautiful, I love, this is the petal pink. It's got a metallic edge ribbon on it. And then the champagne rhinestones. Those are my absolute favorite. You guys are going to be so sick of those because I want to put them on every project that I make right now. So let me just show you. These uh, products are all from our new spring mini catalog, part of the Parisian Blossoms suite. So here, I'll show you kind of a close up of the Parisian Blossoms designer series paper. And I will tell you, I actually used, so on the card that I'm showing you right now, I used this designer series paper, and then I've moved on and I've started using a different pattern. So you can kind of see it's very versatile, the pinks and blues. Uh, another fun thing that they did, and I'll have to show you that too, they are telling us the colors that coordinate with um, the designer series paper and other products in the suite. For example, the primary colors are Cherry Cobbler, Petal Pink, and Pool Party. And you can kind of see that in those colors there, right? And then again, here are the Champagne Rhinestones that we are using, my absolute favorite, and then the gorgeous petal pink, it's a, what is it, and a quarter inch metallic edge ribbon. So beautiful suite of products, right? And the accessories are amazing. So I will give you item codes too for everything that we're using. I'm going to give you dimensions right now. All of that will be in the details to the YouTube video. If you are enjoying this video, make sure you hit the like button, comment, because I love to hear from you and hit that subscribe button too, because I've got lots more fun videos planned with awesome new product from our spring mini catalog. Okay, so we are gonna start with, I'll show you guys, a very standard card base, right? We've got our, this is a piece of pool party cardstock. Along the 11 inch side, we cut it in half at five and a half inches, right? And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches for our beautiful crisp fold on our card, right? The other sizes that you need to know basically is just this piece of designer series paper. So you can see it's similar, um, more concentrated flowers, I guess. I feel like that's maybe more right side up, right? So those there, these here, and then the background. So this is some of the coordinating uh, petal pink and cherry cobbler on the back side there too. So beautiful paper. This piece of designer series paper we cut to four Four inches by five and a quarter inches and then I just have basically scrap pieces of smoky slate petal pink and whisper white cardstock to do our die cutting and our stamping on there so let's go ahead and do our stamping I actually use this is the strong and beautiful stamp set that we've had for a little while but I thought the sentiments are they're they're beautiful in kind of the cursive um that was used, the, the font that was used on the stamp set. And I just thought they worked really, really well with this beautiful designer series paper. So I paired these together um, for this card. Okay, so we are going to use, and I loved this sentiment too, and it fits so well in my circle also, I think is part of it too. That's something to think about too, is um, you know if you wanna do some kind of a layout like this, make sure you get a stamp that kind of fills that space instead of something that's tiny that might get lost in that big circle. But we have this awesome sentiment that says, I cherish you, my true friend. I know I can always count on you. So beautiful sentiment on this card. Okay, so we're gonna use some pool party ink. We are gonna ink up our stamp. We're gonna scoot those guys out of the way. So on my whisper white card stock, nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. Okay, I always get things kind of flinging around and things get crooked. And I don't really like crooked. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna put that right on there. I try cherish you my true friend I know I can always count on you love to send a card like that would make someone's day I think to receive a card with that sentiment right okay so now we are going to do some die cutting all right so I've got my die cutting machine I've got my magnetic platform one clear pad underneath I'm going to put my paper down I'm trying to see am I going to be able to do I think we're going to do the circles and then we'll come back and do the other um, the other one next. Okay, so with the stitched shaped dies, we are going to use the two largest circles, okay? So on this one, I just need to center it. On this one, I just need to make sure it stays on the cardstock. Okay, so we're going to get that lined up, I think. Actually, I want to give myself a little bit of, I'm going to put it, so the sentiment is up a little bit higher, so I have room to put my bow 
at the bottom of my sentiment without covering up my sentiment on the circle. Okay, so we're gonna run those through. I'm gonna pop these babies out, I love. Still one of my absolute favorites. Anything with stitching, right? I think we all love our stitching. And then here's my smoky slate piece with the stitching around the edge. Then we are gonna grab, this is just a piece of scrap piece of petal pink cardstock. We have our stitched nested labels dies. And I always try to help myself out, put the one we're gonna use in the back, but I will show you. It is the second, so that's the largest. So we're gonna use the second largest die in our stitched nested labels dies. Okay, we're gonna crank our handle here. Sorry if that wiggles a little bit. I get kind of excited about my die cutting, I guess. And again, and this one, I think because it stitches on the inside and the outside, doesn't pop out quite as easily. Maybe I've just used them too many times too. But you can see there, right, the stitching on that. And then it actually stitched on the outside edge too. So you could use that for something as well. All right, we're gonna scoot that baby out of the way. And I think we can start putting things together. So while it's a simple card, I think it's a beautiful card, which is kind of, how I work, simple and beautiful, right? I love uh, the detail that people put on some of the more complicated cards, but I tend to not um, do them myself because why would you? Why do you need to make it super detailed, right? When you've got all these beautiful products that um, just do all the work for you. I guess that's just my style. Not to say that something more detailed is not is not beautiful. I think, honestly, it's because I don't want to take that much time <laughs> to make a card either. Okay, so we're going to add some more adhesive on the back of that circle. I put a pretty good amount on there because I want to make sure it sticks, right? We're going to pop that one right there. Now I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of my sentiment here, and I'm going to pop that on so you can see how kind of quickly and easily this card comes together, right? Gonna put that maybe right about there. And then, okay, now for the fun, right? Where are my scissors? Here they are. Okay, so with this beautiful, you guys, look at that ribbon, that petal pink with a little bit of, it's like a champagne, champagne edge on the ribbon. I love, these are my favorites right now. And I'm not usually like a soft pastel kind of girl, but there's something about this champagne color, I think it is, that I just love. And that petal pink is so pretty. So we're just going to make a little baby bow. We don't need it to be, I almost feel like that is going to be too big. But we'll just keep pulling on things till we get the bow the size we want. And then we can kind of trim things off. So do that one. And that one, I'm going to grab a mini glue dot right here. Best thing to put your... Uh, bows on your cards with is your mini glue dots. So we're just going to lay that, grab my mini glue dot, make sure I kind of use my fingernail to pop that up. We're going to put that pretty bow right there. And then last step, I'm going to tidy those things out of the way. So you can see I've used a lot of my champagne rhinestones. Uh, this was actually the package, now that I think about this, that I got from the goodies at OnStage back in November. So this was in our make and takes. That's why it's kind of cut funny. The package is really bigger than this, to be honest. But I think they were trying to make sure they had enough for everybody. So they were kind of divvying them up. So this was the thing that I got to take out of all of the make and take supplies were these rhinestones because like I said, they were my favorite. Okay, so I just popped a couple of rhinestones on there. And there we go. Isn't that gorgeous, right? So you can kind of see the difference if you like this paper or this paper or maybe like them both, right? Just beautiful, isn't it? So thank you guys so much for watching today. I just want to give a quick mention that you should hop on over to my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, GatheringInspiration.com. Make sure you grab the host code on that right-hand side toolbar. Grab that host code when you're ready to shop. Like I said, all the item codes for everything that we're using are going to be in the details to the YouTube video. Shop online at amysuzanne.stampinup.net. Use the host code because most every Friday I go live at 11.30 a.m. on the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group. You will receive two free cards from me and your name will go in the weekly Facebook Live giveaway. If you order online, spend at least $30 and use that host code. You can get beautiful projects from me as long as a freebie for me. Plus, when you bump your order up to $50, you always get a free embellishment from me and... 
right now it's celebration so you can get a free celebration item from stampin up too so so many good reasons to shop stock up on whatever you need and get free stuff too so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you were inspired today and we'll see you soon bye everybody